Minister, ladies and gentlemen, and budding entrepreneurs, I'd like to welcome you all to this, which is our first Sean the Mass Award for Enterprise. And uh, we hope that there will be a similar award every year, which would go to the top three winners from the mini company transition year get up and go competition and from the uh, County Enterprise Board organised Student Enterprise Award. Um, I'm delighted to have an opportunity just to say a few words uh, this afternoon uh, in my capacity as a Minister of State at the Department of Education and Skills and also a Minister of State at the Department of Enterprise, Trade and Innovation uh, and as a grandson of, of Sean Lamass. Um, on behalf of the Lamass family, <coughs> I'd like to thank you, Keisha, uh, first of all, for uh, your role in, in est establishing uh, this award uh, last year uh, to mark the 50th anniversary of uh, Sean Lamass uh, becoming Taoiseach. I would like to uh, thank everyone who has been involved uh, in, these, in these award ceremonies, but also, of course, the many schools uh, who participated, many students who participated. And I want to particularly welcome their teachers uh, and their parents, and of course, members of the Lamass family uh, who have uh, come to help us uh, with the award ceremony today. Uh, as Sean has said, it is for many of our younger generation who have been born in the 90s or the 80s rather than some of the rest of us were children of the 60s and looking around at a few of the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> Not go back any further. It's too, uh, it's too distinguished. But I think it's, uh, it's, it's an indication, I think, of how big an impact uh, that Sean Lamass made that we should quite properly uh, commemorate uh, his, his memory and his achievements uh, in so many ways, but today it's about uh, his tremendous interest in our young people, the capacity of our people to come forward with new ideas, uh, new ways forward, new products, new services, new businesses, new enterprises. These two competitions, the Student Enterprise Competition, organized by the County and City Enterprise Boards, and the Mini Company Get Up and Go Competition for the transition years, organized by the second level uh, support service under the Department of Education and Science, uh, has been a tremendous success. It's the first year, as I said, of the Sean Lamass Award. It implements a commitment in the government's smart economy strategy to raise the profile of these competitions and to encourage more second level students to participate in enterprise programs. Our smart economy vision is about being more productive in all areas of the economy. It means being open to new ideas and new ways of doing things and building links between the education system and the wider economy. Enterprise, which is about using the knowledge, skills, and creativity of people and translating them into viable business processes, products, and services, lies at the heart of our plan to turn Ireland into an innovation island. It's the key to creating the necessary wealth for services such as health and education and many of our social supports. And one of our goals in the smart economy strategy is to encourage more students to consider enterprise as a career choice. We need our best and brightest young people to have the confidence and indeed the incentives and the support framework to start new businesses, to look at self-employment uh, as an option uh, particularly. And to take, talking about enterprise and leadership, we could pick no better role, as I've said, uh, than Sean the Mass, who made such a huge contribution to remoting Ireland's industry and developing its infrastructure. Today, the top three winners from each of the two competitions are being presented with the Sean the Mass Award for Enterprise as a special mark of distinction. All of the winners have faced tough competition to get here. They're all from all parts of the country, have all presented very different uh, business ideas, from turkey farming to interactive whiteboards, from student revision dividers to an environmental board game, a music CD to a device which stops your earphones from getting tangled. That's not a very major preoccupation for all teenagers. <laughs> um, and these students have demonstrated how a business idea can be brought through to production, supported by all the necessary planning, teamwork, research, marketing, and accounting that's needed. And I'm delighted to be able to present each school with the Sean Lamass Award for Enterprise, to present each of you with individual certificates. And I have no doubt that this experience will equip you to be entrepreneurs and leaders in the innovation Ireland of the future. I should point out, by the way, that the whole class is involved in the Get Up and Go competition and that the students here with us today were selected by their classes to present and represent their collective endeavor. Those who came first in the National Student Enterprise and Mini Company Get Up and Go competitions also get a prize of an educational trip. That's an 
was not. <laughs> <laughs> An educational trip for the group to Barcelona with their teachers later in the year. I hope it's during the football season. Um, it will be another opportunity to meet again, to learn from each other, and to gain an insight into enterprise as it operates in Spain. I'm sure you'll manage to squeeze in some fun with all that learning as well. So, warmest congratulations to all our winners for their business creativity and for their commitment and hard work in seeing their ideas through to fruition. I want to thank and congratulate your teachers and school principals and the parents who have supported you, many of whom have travelled from all parts of the country to be here with us today. So, I'm very pleased to see the increased media coverage the competitions are attracting. Handling celebrity is an additional skill that participants have picked up along the way. You never know, maybe some of you will turn to politics or more important, the media. <laughs> I'm also very pleased to see a big increase in participation levels. The student enterprise competition now attracts some 400 schools and just under 15,000 students, which is a considerable increase on the estimated 10,500 participants in 2009. I'd particularly like to thank the County Enterprise Boards and the Second Level Support Service for their work in creating and organizing these awards. It's very important that we recognize and celebrate achievements like this if we are to encourage increased levels of entrepreneurship in Ireland. And I also want to congratulate all the participants in the competition and everybody who helped to make this day happen. The work has been done by parents, teachers and organizers, and above all by the students themselves. It gives great confidence and hope about their future and about the role they play as we rebuild our economy and more importantly our society. So and I thank you all for coming. I'm glad to be joined by colleagues, Senator McSharry and, and Sean Hoddy, but there are other members of the Oireachtas here. And my apologies, I don't see everybody, but um, I do want to say that it's a, it's a great pleasure to be here and I hope that you enjoy your trip here to government buildings uh, and we look forward to being able to provide some refreshments after. Thanks very much indeed. today by the good projects we saw at the Student Enterprise Awards? Yeah, I think it's a great opportunity for students to show their innovation and their ideas and how they can bring them to fruition. And uh, it just shows you the diversity of products and ideas that came forward in the competition and now in the finals and those who've won awards and going on their trip to, to Barcelona. I think it's, it's great. Uh, 15,000 students were involved in one way or in another and over 400 schools. So next year, it's all about getting bigger and better all the time and bringing enterprise and ideas about enterprise into the education system I think is very important um, because it's developing that entrepreneurial spirit that will create those who will have the ideas and create employment in the future. So it's a great, it's a great occasion and I think they're all very, very well equipped for the future as a result. <laughs>